What type of investor are you? So do you typically go for the cheapest thing you can find? So let's take Jessica, for example. She's someone who prides herself on always finding the best bargain. And the best bargain is typically the product that she's looking for, but at the cheapest price. So when she goes to a store, um, if she can find what she wants at the cheapest rate possible, then she feels like she did a good job. Like for her, that's what sh her goal is. That's what she's aiming for. She wants the best deal at all times. Um, and she pats herself on the back and kind of raves all about it to her friends. And, you know, when she finds something that is just, you know, $5 or $10 or, you know, $20, even despite the quality, you know, she feels like she got a good deal. So you may not be like Jessica, you may be like Stacy, and instead you just love designer brands because Stacy loves expensive products because she just likes having the best of the best. She's against buying like generic brands. She only likes a lot of like the big, well-known prestige names. Um, and if she sees like two things on the shelf and say one's $50 and one's $20, she may still actually go with the $50 one because she knows the brand. Um, and if she sees the brand and it's a popular brand, she kind of associates the price with being the best quality and the best products. She always goes for the higher product. Now, if you don't seem to relate with Jessica and you can't seem to really relate with Stacy, you might find yourself somewhere right in the middle. Um, you know, you may be like Lisa. So Lisa typically doesn't go for the cheapest. And she typically doesn't go for the most expensive, you know, name brand. Um, you know, Lisa typically tries to, or not tries, but Lisa prides herself um, in making the right investment as long as it's good quality at a fair price. So Lisa always wants to make, the, make sure that she's getting, um, you know, the biggest bang for her buck. So she wants to make sure that she can get, you know, a long-term benefit um, and what she's buying um, is going to benefit her without having to get like a second job, you know, all while making sure that, you know, she's not spending money on that product again because she doesn't want to buy a new one. She just wants a good price, good quality. So my question to you is who do you relate with the most? Do you find yourself buying product after product at a very cheap rate? Um, and although you have to buy more of them, well, at least they're not that expensive anyway. So for you, it doesn't matter. You just rather, you know, continuously buy the cheap stuff. Um, or do you like paying the most amount of money on something just because the brand is well known and because the brand is well known, then it must be good because everyone else is doing it. Um, or Maybe you don't like buying, you know, a product unless it's going to last the longest. Um, that's really the most effective, the most efficient. It saves you money in the long run, and it's also at a fair price. So whatever the purchase may be, my advice is always to ask yourself, what outcome do you want from what you're buying? No matter what it is, food, clothes, a program, whatever. Do you want a product that saves you the most money? Do you want the product that just increases your popularity and social status? Or do you want a product that will do a multitude of things, you know, without having to sacrifice one or the other? So maybe you want to uh, make a purchase that saves you the most money, the most time and effort because we all don't want to put a lot of effort in, you know, all while providing you that praise and the comfort that you're looking for. So you kind of get the best of all worlds, right? So you may be wondering, you know, why am I talking about this? What does that have to do with my health and my weight loss goals? Like, come on. So, you know, depending on the type of investor that you are, will always determine the results you will get with anything that you try. So you may fall into the trap of trying program after program with endless amounts of research with little results because you keep going after the cheapest option. 50 bucks here, 30 bucks here, 10 bucks here, $20 here, you know, $90 here. Um, you know, you want to be a bargain shopper, but it's not giving you the result you're going after, which leaves you frustrated and kind of brings you to the point of kind of giving up. And you keep thinking to yourself, like, what am I doing wrong? 
Why can't I lose weight? I've tried so many things, right? Sometimes we go down the rabbit hole of trying so many things and still not getting the result we want. And it's not because you're doing anything wrong, but it's because you're buying the wrong thing for what you need. So you may even be like, uh, you know, Stacy who just continues to, uh, Jessica who just continues to buy program after program. You know, they may sound appealing because they're a big brand um, and they have tons of advertising and it seems like, wow, everyone's doing it. You know, I should try it too. Um, you know, you go after the big brands, so you're willing to pay a little bit more for it anyway. Um, and then you kind of still find yourself, yourself stuck and you look around, you know, wondering, wow, like how are all these people getting results, but I'm not. And, you know, this celebrity is promoting it and this person is promoting it. And the reason may be because you are also searching and buying the wrong things. So instead, you need to find a product or a program that may not be the cheapest. And it may not be the most prestige either. It may not be the biggest name brand, but it is the best product at the best cost that will leave you to getting the long-term result you're looking for because you're paying for what you need. And, you know, I'm just being honest. I talk to lots of women who get super frustrated because they spent so much time trying to find the perfect solution. So they buy program after program, $30 here, $50 here. You know, some of, you know, some will see a, a new product that seems to be the next best thing. Everyone's doing it for $300 or $400. And, you know, this celebrity's advertising and this commercial looks good. So it must be good um, because they see people getting results. So they should try it. And then they still don't see results they're looking for. I see this all the time, if not every single day. And this leaves a lot of people that I talk to, you know, feeling as if there's no hope. It leads to, you know, you thinking that you've tried everything. How can something else possibly work because you've tried everything? But what they fail and what you may fail uh, to find is a solution that's specific to what you need and specific to your goals and your lifestyle with a customized approach. Because our health and our fitness goals are not a one-size-fits-all ever and they're failing to pay you know you're most people are failing to pay for what they actually need to give them the result they want so you have to ask yourself next time you're buying anything why are you buying it is it because it's the cheapest is it the most well-known brand or is it something that is proven to give you the outcome that you're looking for in the first place so i want you to think about that next time you buy anything so i hope that was helpful and before I go, I want to uh, invite you to join me tomorrow, a hot topic that I hear. Danae, I hit 40 and I can't lose weight. So if this sounds like you, tune in. I'm super excited to chat with you. And don't forget, if you're looking to um, start a new healthy lifestyle, you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to fire up your metabolism, you're looking to reduce any sort of bloat, my seven-day challenge is free so you could click the link above or below put in your info take a keep an eye out for your email with details it's seven days of simple habits that will really allow you to use the seven day challenge as a stepping stone to getting you to your result um, it's not a permanent solution but it is a stepping stone to get you closer to losing weight living a healthier lifestyle without having to flip your entire life upside down and again the challenge is free i have workouts recipes a gut health guide and a free supplement guide so there's tons of valuable information in there all you have to do is click the link sign up and I'm super excited if you do join and I'll see you in there. And I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday and I'll see you tomorrow.